once you click on the Discord link, this is what you're going to see. You don't need to have an email. You don't have to do anything. Give yourself a username. I'm going to give myself uh, somewhat of a funky name here. Uh, let's see. The poop. The poopsicle returns. You know, I'm just going to make a new account called the poopsicle returns. Ah, got to do a verification. And uh, just like that, I believe we're in. Uh, oh, it'll ask for a couple of things, but uh, let's put a fucking birthday. I was born April 5th. And I am very old. Can I be very old? I'm World War veteran right here. Oh, I'll hide that. That's information that I don't want to have in there. But what I would do is I'd start typing a uh, fake internet, uh, fake email. So um, the poopies, the poop eyes, return at uh, you know just put any fart email. In fact, I'll put a fart email. <laughs> fart mail dot uh, dot, uh, flan. There we go. Why not? And my, my password is I, I shat my pants. There you go. Just like that. You guys can see what I've been doing. Play the account. Yeah. All right. No, I don't want that. And we're in. Check that out. You know, it's that easy guys. <laughs> So right over here, we got the mods button, and uh, this is the latest version. It came out November uh, 7th. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, Sunday, November 7th. That's the latest one. Fixes some area crash on enter. Still happens. Uh, I'm not going to verify my email. All you got to do is click on that little blue link, download it, and there you go. You got yourself the multiplayer rock. Very easy. All right, once everything's all been said and done, we have the file. Go ahead and extract it and uh, extract it into its own folder. Make your life easy. These, um, I would say these files are going to be the most important ones. The four player IPS and the by.bin file. It really depends on how many players you want to have. Uh, I feel like the four player mod definitely is the more fun uh, version of it. So we'll, we'll go with that. And uh, these are the uh, instructions that, you know, they're all right, but they're they're a little, uh, they don't explain a whole lot and they're a little uh, incomplete, I suppose. Not incomplete, they're very complete, but they just don't explain things clearly to, uh, to the layman, to the average user. Uh, and I'm not read the fucking manual guy. I am the, uh, hey, if you've got something pretty awesome, why not just make it easy for people to, to use it and access it? That's the the group that I fall into. So that's why I'm here. I want as many people, exact same fucking sentiment the, the development team has. I want as many people using this shit, getting the mod ready and playing with their friends as I possibly can get, right? All right. So we have all these files over here and uh, what we now need is a uh, ISO file. So this is the one that we've got. Pretty nice, pretty good. Uh, make sure to own your game. You know what I mean, right? I mean, if it magically made its way over to your computer, oh, Lord knows how that happened, but if it magically did, uh, <laughs> well, just uh, don't don't let the FBI know about it. Get to the Dolphin Emmy's website, and uh, it should be dolphinemmy.org. Go to the downloads page, and um, you can scroll down a little bit. You'll find the development versions. Download the latest one. Two days and nine hours ago, there was uh, the latest release of a dev version. Give that shit a click. It's going to download. All right, well, can can we finish today and not tomorrow? How about that? All right. Sweet. So now uh, I've got the file and um, let's go ahead and show that in folder. Right. I'm just going to bring that in there. All right. You're, yeah, we're here. This is the important shit. So, I would recommend that you just go ahead and extract it into its own folder. Uh, although I believe it has its own, yeah, right? It's got its own folder. I, I'm just going to extract it right there. It's fine. And then we don't need the Dolphin Master uh, anymore. 
So let's get into Dolphin itself and open it up. And uh, sadly, it's using the version that I've already got installed, but I will show you step by step how to get everything working. Imagine this list is empty. First of all, click on config and go to paths. So you're going to see an empty list over here, but what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find your way into where the ROM is hiding. You're not going to see the ROM, but if you select the folder, you're going to get the ROM right there. Now, right click the game, go to properties, and at the very uh, end of the tabs list, you're going to find file system and the uh, disk. Right click it and choose the extract entire disk option. And uh, I'm going to make a new folder. Uh, just make a new folder called Wind Waker EX. Uh, let's just go Wind Waker EXT. You know, I'll, I'll just say that that meant extracted, that abbreviates to it so that we can all be happy. And uh, there we go. Right in there, we're going to have these funny looking files uh, files and sys. This is where we want to be. We got these uh, these files going on over here. They're pretty annoying. The one thing that was really nice uh, from the uh, instructions list is they do give you a couple of ways to patch the game. Although I chose um, hack64.net, so I'm going to use that. It just worked the best. So it's going to ask you to locate the ROM. We're going to go ahead and find our ROM within our folders. So there we go. Sell the Wind Waker. Uh, we got to go into the uh, EXT, the one that we've extracted. And you're going to find, uh, oof, all files. We want to use the uh, main.dol file in this one. So this is our extracted folder. Main.dol is the way that we want to go about it. And finally, the patch. Uh, that would actually be in these files for the tutorial and uh, in the Wind Waker file that you downloaded, you're going to have these three to choose from. Obviously, four players. That's the one I want. And I'm going to save it as main.dol and we're going to patch. Cool beans. Now, let's go ahead and uh, cut that. We're going to get into the uh, ROMs file, uh, into the uh, extracted folder that we have of the CD, into sys. We're going to go ahead and just delete main.dol. See you later, homeboy. And we're going to go ahead and put in the new one, the patched one. And another thing, we don't need buy2.bin anymore because this is an old one that, that won't work. So get rid of that. And we're going to have to go get the uh, the one that the development team has provided us. Very nice of them. Very kind of them to do so. Once that's done, we're going to get back into Dolphin. What you're going to have to do now is I recommend you leave it this way because sometimes the game will crash during certain events and cutscenes. The best solution is just run the single player unpatched ISO. It's going to load the same save file of the of the game itself and you're going to be able to continue on that's a great fix but anyway how do you play the multiplayer game well we're almost done first things first we have to choose the best settings um so i just like to go for 1080p or 4k let's go 4k today i feel uh i feel ballsy go back to config go to advanced when you enter into the advanced section everything's gonna look like this Everything is going to look exactly, well, more or less like this. Everything's going to be off. So, clock override, turn that baby on. For me, I have to go up to 400%. 200% also works for me as well. It really depends on you and, uh, I guess, your computer and all the good stuff. And you need to enable emulated memory size override. It needs to be 48 megabytes. It can be higher, but... They, uh, the development team tells you have 48 megabytes, and I believe this is supposed to be at 64, but I don't know what it does. I'll just leave it at 64. No one told me to change mem, mem 2. 
but this is what you're supposed to do, right? With the emulated CPU clock override, that really does depend on your computer. Um, and from the looks of things, it works best around 200 to 400% for me. We can close that now. Do not uh, open your ISO. Instead, go to open and uh, we're going to go over to our, uh, our file. I want to make sure that everyone gets the right idea. So we're going to go over to the ROMs, the extracted folder, the sys folder, and you're going to find um, the main.dol file. We're going to open that and it's running. I have shaders uh, compiling beforehand. I just, I don't know. I just did that for whatever reason. I'm not here to teach you how to use Dolphin, guys, all right? You can look up a million tutorials by wonderful, talented people that'll show you how it's done. And uh, have a look at that. There we go. That's pretty, pretty awesome. My voice broke right there. Wonderful. But we can get into the game. It's reading the save file off my documents. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it. And uh, hopefully in a sec, there we go. Four links. And uh, the game does automatically get you um, the uh, different colored links. That's really cool of the developer. Uh, it's a nice little treat. I like it very much. Let me know, I guess, in the comments. I mean, was this just too long and annoying or... Did this help you out? Did this manage to get you where you needed to be? Um, and again, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Kirby Mimi. Uh, this is an especially amazing experience. Uh, one more thing. So I mentioned you can run the game as a single player. Why that's important is you can say, for example, the game is crashing when you enter... Uh, a new area. I know this happened to me in Dragon Roost Island. I would enter, it would crash, right? What you have to do is load the ISO file and you can get into single player mode. Go ahead, do the cutscene in single player, save and quit, open the DOL file again to play the multiplayer goodness. You'll be fine. It'll it'll fix any problem. Any weird um, instances of crashing, that's how you fix it. So good luck with the game and uh, well, hope to hear from you soon. See you next time. Bye bye.